Right, let's take a look at this diagram. We are told that angle OLM is twice as large as angle PON. So PON is this one here. You have to understand the angle notation. Go PON, it's the angle that's kind of in between. So I'm going to call this X, because then I'm told that angle OLM, which is this one here, is twice that. So I'm going to call that 2X. Then I'm going to try and find anything else that I can in terms of X. And we're actually trying to find the angle um, OLM, actually. So we want to know what X is, essentially. Oh, we've, and we've also got this as 124. OK, let's do this. So this angle here will also be X. These are called vertically opposite. They are exactly the same because uh, these two add up to 180. But so do these two. So it must be that they're the same. Right, next up, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So this angle here in red is going to be 180 minus 2x. And then I'm also going to work out this one because I can do 180 minus 124. That's going to give me 56. OK, actually, that's really useful information because finally I can look at this triangle and the angles in it must add up to 180. So x plus 180 minus 2x plus 56 must equal 180. I could like add the 180 and the 56 together to kind of simplify it, or I could just like straight away cancel it out by subtracting it from both sides. That's actually going to be much simpler. So then I'm going to get minus x plus 56 is equal to zero, and therefore x is equal to 56. Oh, and I'm not quite done because I wasn't actually asked for that. I was asked for what OLM was. So that's my 2x. Yeah, I would have been very tempted to write down 56 as my answer if it wasn't there as a multiple choice. You need to be a bit more careful. Remember, that's what we're actually finding. So double it, it's going to be 112. There we go.